What's up and welcome to the video. Sorry for any wind noise, it's a pretty windy day. But today I'm going to show you how to replace the CV axle boot and re-grease the bearing in a CV axle from a 944 Turbo. Pretty sure they're the same for 911s, 968, 928, 924, and all those. So this is actually pretty easy. I have all my new stuff set up and ready to go. One thing I gotta say is use as many gloves as you need to. Don't get this grease on your hands. It's really hard to get off. Just use the uh, old box from the new boot as a place to put your parts if you need to put them somewhere. Also, I'll have links in the description as to where you can get new boots. And these boot kits come with the grease and new clamps and everything like that. So first thing you need to do, there's a clip ring. You need to take that out. Next thing you need to do is remove this clamp right here. You could do that first if you want to. Now, you can slide the CV joint off of the axle. First of all, push the boot forward, then it's easier to slide this off. So, set the axle off to the side, you can clean that up later. Now you need to remove the boot assembly from the bearing. And it's like, sorry I can't do the focus or anything because my hands are so dirty already. But, the bearing sits inside of this metal thing and it's like pressed on there. So you need to take a sharp flathead screwdriver. This helps if you have a vise. Then you just go around it and hit it, hit it off. Don't drive the screwdriver into your wrist. You do this at your own risk. I'm not liable for any damages or injuries caused by your actions. Now that's a part. You want to watch because this inner part might fall out. It won't come straight out. You actually need to twist it like this. The bearings, the balls will start to fall out and then it, this comes out like that. Same thing with this inner piece where actually you can take out these balls might just start falling out. You can use the screwdriver, but 
So on this ring, there's a flat side and a beveled side. And on this center piece, there's a flat side and a plateaued side, I guess. And the plateaued side goes with the beveled side, and the two flat sides go on the same side. So anyway, get this apart, spin it to the side, twist it a little bit, And those come apart. Now you can clean the grease off of all of these. You can use a parts washer, but I do not have one. You can use brake clean too. You can switch to some new gloves and give these parts a second cleaning. Just to make sure they're really clean. Because your gloves are going to just recontaminate a little bit. For the splines in here, I use a toothbrush and some brake clean. You can salvage your bolts out of here if you're not going to use new bolts. You don't have to use new bolts. I'm going to clean these up before I put them back in. All right, hopefully this is a better angle for reassembly. So when you put this back together, the way that these have to be lined up... So when you put this back together, the way that this all needs to be lined up is that this notch points outwards. The flat edge points outwards. And the flat edge points outwards once it's all back together. But the way that these need to be lined up is really important because if they're not lined up right it won't it won't um, have movement it'll just be a stiff piece. So basically the small part aligns with the large part large part, small part Small part, large part, not sure, really sure what to call these. Small, large, small, large, small, large. Basically just save this image, print it out. Alright, so you just put that back in there like that. Get two bearings, put them in on each side, put one in on each side. Put that in there like that. Just with your hand. On this side, just push the uh, ring out, install the rest of the bearings. Oh.
Why the? F oh, see, I didn't. <laughs> uh, I didn't line it up right. I put the put the large part with the large part. And so now it is like a one solid piece. Like the center doesn't move independently from the outer part. So. That is more like it. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with me today. Just feel really impatient. Anyway, that's together. And now, that's what you want. You want that center part to move independently from the outer part. All right, now we can add the grease. Use new fresh gloves for this. You don't want to contaminate it. Cut it where it says to cut it. And I'll show you why. This slot fits perfectly, almost perfectly, in each of these bearing uh, ports or whatever. So, you just jam it in where the bearings are and squeeze the grease in there. And it'll force the grease down into the bearing. Pretty crazy. So you just do that all the way around. Go on the inside and do that. Oh man, I just don't feel right today. Flip it around, do the same thing. This side's gonna go on the inside so you can just load this side up. Put a little grease onto the axle splines. Here's my version of cake decorating. Now, move that around a bit. Work the grease in there. Let it coat the bearings and stuff. I can put the axle boot on, make sure you line up the... axle bolt holes. Make sure you put it onto the correct side. Remember this notch goes outwards, so you put the boot on this side. There's the one I want a video. It gives me all kinds of problems. Anyway, now you can put this onto the axle. Once you get there, get a little screwdriver.
work it into the, into the boot. Make sure that works. Looks good to me. Put the clip ring back on there, clean it up, and then you're done. Oh yeah, don't forget to put your uh, bolts and shims back in there. Got some new axle bolts here. I'll put a link in the description where you can get those. Make sure you clean this grease that, that's on the end of the bolts. Well, hopefully that works. And don't forget to put your clamp back on this side. I'm just using a gray zip die, so it looks like a clamp from a distance. It does the job. Then you can install your axle. Thank you for watching. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, please, and subscribe for more videos, hopefully a little more refined than this.